Alright, I got some uh, IRF Z44 ends for this uh, Tifatronic circuit. At this point, I'm going to start playing around with uh, g different GDTs. So here's the first little test circuit set up. Uh, now using, I've got this little GDT in there that I've got about uh, seven, eight winds on. I've just actually removed the smaller parallel caps I had on there that really weren't doing anything and I just threw a larger one on there, uh, just higher voltage. Stuff I had laying around, so as far as the coil goes, I had to move the primary up here and I had to insulate it and I really just decided to just fill it with hot glue because I had the outside of this coil wrapped in uh, clear tape. I came to the conclusion this particular coil which is about two inches high one inch wide or so was not quite big enough. It still works but I would probably want to rewind something that's either an inch and a half in diameter or so. Basically just scale this up slightly more. So that's basically the scale. Um, so probably what would be more ideal is to have a coil that was it would be more the size of, of this lighter you know I'm probably eventually going to go back to using IRFP 250s for this circuit throw a little bigger heat sink basically uh, design it with the heat sink as being sort of a counterpoise I guess you could say it'll be a, a large flat heat sink that you can lay the fits on scale the coil up just slightly you can see that here's another coil comparison these are my other ones that work pretty well from around the same voltage I wouldn't make them anywhere near that big but slightly scale this up to where the performance would probably really start popping in my opinion I noticed that I had to run this from 24 volts to just at least get you know like one inch little sparks from this guy continuous this thing will definitely eat itself up um, even down to like 12 volts or so it's gonna pull way too much power you would want a duty cycle about this low if you really want to have a small deal like this that runs off a battery and I suppose there's several ways to do it and I'm thinking you know the smallest lipos you can get the smallest boost converter you can get to get about 24 volts the smallest everything you can get but you know when you're when you're doing that that boost converter is going to be pretty much the important part it's going to dictate how much power you can get out the field isn't too crazy on this thing either Got to get it pretty close. Having a top load on it like this is, a, is closer to what it wants to get it better in tune. Uh, the problem is at that point, I believe it wants to rise in voltage more and uh, then it starts arcing internally. So if I cut it up a little bit, see the needle rise on here. So now it's just barely going, low duty cycle. But, I mean, you don't, you can sort of draw something out, but it really wants to arc internally. I've had this problem on a lot of these coils. Some type of way that primary finds a way to arc. So you can see, at least with this setup, that's about the maximum I'm going to get. 
especially due to the arcing and even if it wasn't arcing and I was able to pull slightly more out of it I would say I maybe an inch and a half would inch and a half spark lengths would be about my max limit with this build at 24 volts just you know as I said slightly scaling that up would greatly improve that but it really sucks because this is a uh, 40 gauge wire and uh, man I have enough to wind another coil but Jesus I really don't want to do it So you can see by clipping down the length of this little protruding top load here, it's now turned the arc into more of like a line. And you know, this is something I learned playing with my larger coils. It's something about setting this type of arrangement here just right. Um, it starts spitting that line out. Even that right there, um, that's not too bad. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. 
But um, I mean, you can see this circuit can be condensed down way smaller than it is. So really could get an end result that it's a much smaller package that has that output that uh, wouldn't be too bad.